Hey guys, what's up? It's Tim. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a thumbnail tutorial video. This is going to be how to make a specific Call of Duty uh, thumbnail. I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop. So if you don't have it, I'm sorry, this video probably won't be uh, very applicable to you. But maybe you can take what some of the things that I'm doing and maybe implement it in your own, you know, thumbnail design space, you know, whatever uh, program or website or thing that you use, uh, maybe this can help in some way. So as I mentioned, it's going to be specific to Call of Duty. So I'm going to be focusing it around, uh, you know, the different ways to make a Call of Duty thumbnail that's enticing. So this is going to be a very beginner, you know, tutorial. So uh, if you are, you know, somewhat advanced or anything like that, this might be old news or stuff you've, you know, le learned about. Uh, but this is, you know, mostly directed towards someone who just got Photoshop for the first time and, you know, is wanting to make a Call of Duty channel, maybe a gaming channel in general. Uh, but, you know, again, specifically this one's for COD. So first off, right off the bat, you're going to want to hit Control N. And from here, it's going to create a new uh, sheet, I guess, uh, a new document. I don't know what you call it. Uh, you know, a new a new page. Uh, so you're going to want to copy these settings, the 1280 by 720 pixels. It's the ideal size for making a thumbnail. So uh, you can go ahead and make this, I don't know, whatever thumbnail uh, tutorial and uh, just make the background white. It doesn't really matter. And just keep this. I don't think this matters too much. Uh, and just go ahead and. OK, OK. So now you have your first layer, right? Um, so now what we're going to want to do, what I normally do is I what I did there is hit control minus to just zoom in, uh, zoom out. You can also hit control plus to zoom in. Uh, that's, you know, a quick little tip. I'm going to be giving you guys some quick tips here, I guess. Uh, so next, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up a Chrome document or, you know, whatever. And let's say I'm making a video on skill based matchmaking. OK, so uh, I will type in Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare because that has skill based matchmaking. And let's pick a famous map. Let's pick uh, Hackney Yard, right? So type in Hackney Yard, go to images, and there you go, boom, right? So you got a ton of images to pick from. This is a pretty standard one I think a lot of uh, people use. So you wanna stay away from that. This one looks good. Is this Hackney Yard? This isn't Hackney Yard. Um, but actually, you know what, for the purposes of the, ma uh, for the video, it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and save image. So I blocked out where I, I put it because uh, there's a lot of, you know, I don't know what you call it, secret information or secret stuff I have in my my folders here. So I'm not going to show you that. But basically, you just save it, download it and implement it into Photoshop. So hit Control O and go ahead and bring it in. So it's going to be in Photoshop, right? So now go to the left here on this little toolbar here and you're going to want to select this one. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Is there a name here? I don't think it's showing up, whatever, uh, rectangular marquee tool. So yeah, uh, you're going to want to uh, highlight the whole thing, hit control C, go over to your, uh, you know, thumbnail tab and hit control V. And there you go. So you got it right. So now hit control minus usually control T. This is to re uh, reshape it. And I hit this over here. This basically keeps it in a line. So it keeps the aspect ratio uh, the same automatically for you. So otherwise, if you didn't, it could be like that. Right. But if you hit it, it boom, it reset, uh, resizes it to the correct one. So what I normally do is uh, keep it on and then just make sure it fits to the site, uh, the size and then hit control plus a few times to make sure the edges are OK. Yeah. So if it's if it doesn't fit, if it's like this, um, what you can do is sometimes just hit control, uh, hit shift and drag the arrow that usually does it. So you can see it kind of keeps the aspect ratio. So you can't really tell. Right. But if I hit the aspect ratio, it would change a little bit. Uh, it would bring it in a little bit. So there you go. You got your first background layer. Next thing I would do is go over to your layer, right click, hit duplicate layer and just hit OK. Uh, from here, go on to filter and go to blur and uh, you can pick which blur. I normally go Gaussian blur or Gaussian, whatever. Uh, you can play around with it. See if I put 1.0 it barely blurs. If I put 7.0, it's like a huge blur. Some people, you know, really like a big blur. Some people like a small one. That's what she said. <laughs> Uh, I normally go between 4.0 and 4.4.0 uh, and 4.5. So I'll just go 4.5 here and you can see. And if you hit the eye, you can see what it looks like without blur and uh, just kind of determine what you want to see from that. Right. So you got your background, right? Uh, the next thing I would do is go over, go back over to your Google search and search Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, let's say operator, right? So I think having an image is really important and having like a character model is really important. So just, you know, kind of scroll down. Uh, this one looks kind of good, I guess this 
3 picture of ghost. So again, just go ahead and save image and go ahead and bring that into Photoshop. So now here is what's a little tricky and what's a little bit more time consuming. What you want to do from here is hit this button, the quick selection tool and pick which, which operator you're going to want. So you're just going to start selecting as much you can of the specific thing that you want to copy paste out, right? So here you can see I grabbed other edges. Uh, let me zoom in a bit so you can uh, see more fully. That was a bit too much zoom, I think, but here. So you can kind of see the edges, right? Uh, to delete some of them, you're gonna wanna hit the Alt button. So if you see over here, it turns into a minus sign. So the minus is obviously what you're not going to be selecting. So go ahead and uh, just, you know, take your time with it. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna kind of um, not rush it, but I'm not gonna be as in-depth as I normally would, uh, but you kind of get the idea. Just kind of make sure everything in here is highlighted. Uh, make sure you like take the whole body apart too. Sometimes it just like, sometimes it just won't, uh, you know, take in some of the body part. Uh, let's go ahead and, I don't know. Is this, is this good enough? I, I can't even tell. This is not really good enough, but um, okay. So zoom out. So now that you have your thing selected, hit control C like normal, go to back to your thumbnail tutorial and hit control V. And there you go. That actually turned out pretty good. So that actually turned out pretty dang good, right? So this kind of is beginning to stem into, you know, the thumbnails you see. Some people like to do it like this. They make it really big. Again, keep your aspect ratio on. It's very important. Uh, they like to make it really big and maybe that's a bit too big. That's what she said. <laughs> And we just then hit the uh, the check button. So hit Control T to edit, and the check button to finish. So that looks pretty good, right? Because uh, you know he comes out of the background and everything. What I like to do also is right click on the layer, go to Blending Options, go to Outer Glow, uh, Drop Shadow, things like that. Uh, turn up the size on them, uh, so you can see like you know the bigger he gets, the bigger the size gets. Uh, also spread, I guess spread. Don't change too much, but uh, size. You know definitely play around with size. Uh, you can change the color. I kind of like this this yellow thing here. Um, and drop shadow is, you know, you can see the difference here. It's making more of a, you know, black drop shadow. Uh, so just, you know, keep that uh, decently big. Uh, this is uh, pretty okay. I like that. Um, you see this line here, what you want to do if you see any blemishes, again, I'm going to zoom in. If you see any blemishes, go ahead and use the eraser tool and um, you can reshape it and don't choose this, choose this, the uh, white circle, because it erases, you know, fully. Um, you can kind of smooth out the edges a little bit, uh, take out any uh, any miss, miss clicks or miss hits or anything like that. When you're done, uh, just get out of that. And it's looking pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. Next thing you want to do is add text. So I'm going to add the words, so hit T, um, or just click over here, uh, thumbnail tutorial. Uh, and actually, sorry, just hit, just type thumbnail or just type whatever words you want rather. Um, and let's go ahead and change the color to white. It's just going to be easier to edit. Uh, what you are seeing right here is, um, let's see, how should I, how should I do this? Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and just leave it here. Right? So that is the first thing. Now I want to change the text. Uh, what I'm using here is the Fortnite font. This is Burbank, uh, big regular. You can also use the call of ops duty. What might be more beneficial is if you use the Call of Ops Duty font for a Call of Duty thumbnail. Um, so that's what it looks like. And you can download the fonts on uh, online. Just search Call of Ops Duty uh, font on Google. Here, I'll actually do it for you. Uh, it's very simple. So all you've got to do is search Call of Ops Duty font uh, and go to this site, something like this, Defont, and uh, just download. So I, I did it already, so I'm not going to do it again. But that's, that's where you get the font from. Sorry if my voice is sounding weird. I think I'm talking a lot for, you know, early morning. Uh, this obviously looks pretty boring so far. And so what we're going to do is right click on thumbnail, hit blending options as I did. Uh, some people like to use the stroke and just, you know, make it bigger. Uh, I feel like I started using this, but it looks a little basic to me. I feel like a lot of people do this. So little thing I like to do is go to outer glow here and go down to here, blend mode, change that to subtract. So with subtract, sorry, I have this on. With subtract, again, you're gonna to wanna to turn the size up and hit drop shadow and turn that size up. So now you can see it kind of sticks out a little bit more. 
um, and it's a lot more. If you turn the spread up too, it's it's uh, it's a lot better. It's a lot more, uh, you know, engaging and stuff. So yeah, you can definitely see the difference here versus. Uh, versus this, right? So that's the difference. Next up, the second line, we are going to hit Alt on this and just drag up to create a copy. Uh, you could also just, you know, uh, duplicate layer. You could do that as well. What I wanna do now with the th copied is type in the word tutorial. So we're gonna do, go ahead and do that and basically just resize it. So what I like to do is make the bottom text bigger. Uh, I think it stands out more. So, uh, let's go ahead and reshape this uh, again. Keep the aspect ratio now Unfortunately, the word thumbnail is kind of weird when it's uh, capitalized like this I, I don't really like the way it looks but you know for the sake of the video It's fine and you can kind of play around with it now, right? So thumbnail tutorial you can uh, change it the gradient So there's some pre-made gradients like this like this you can drag this over so it's a bit more you know red white and stuff like that or not red white red uh, orange uh, you can reverse it you can add a contour actually it uh, in this case it's going to make it look a little bit better reduce it a little bit i think that the contour adds to the text it makes it a bit more interesting because of the way the text is formulated i'm going to move the soldier a little bit to the right and uh, maybe a bit more up okay so that's pretty good yeah. Next up, what you can do if you wanted, not uh, not obviously required, but if you wanted, you could just hit this button, create a new group, and hit this, hit this, control on both of these, and drag them into the group. Uh, then you can make adjustments to the entire group. So um, now all I have to do is hit the group, and I can move this entire thing around. Uh, so what I want to do, I think if I leave it here, it's a little bit better, because uh, if I left it here, there'd be too much space up top. Um, what you could do up top is go ahead and go to here and search Call of uh, Duty Modern Warfare logo. Go to images and uh, you could just get this, right? You could just, and go ahead and bring that in. Control C that, Control V that, bring it up here and leave that up here. Uh, let's zoom in a bit so you can see. We're gonna to wanna to go to blending options again. Uh, in this case, we could do stroke, we could do outer glow, subtract. I usually test out both to see which would work better. I think in this case, outer glow is still gonna work a bit better. It looks a bit more uh, clean. Don't really like this too, too much, to be honest with you. I think there's better uh, Modern Warfare logos out there, but you know what, for the purposes of this video, let's go ahead and just leave it as is. Um, I think the white stands out for the tutorial text, so I'm not gonna change that. I think you can have both uh, thumbnail and um, uh, tutorial be white, but I think it just isn't going to be the same vibe. Uh, that's just my opinion. You're gonna make your thumbnail, you know, whatever it is you wanna do, right? Now we're basically done for this beginner tutorial. What I wanna do lastly is just make it stand out a bit more, make it pop. I think a lot of content creators don't really do this, so what you can do lastly, let's get rid of some of these tabs. What you can do, uh, if you didn't see what I did, uh, I just hit this button down here, create a new layer. And from this layer, we're gonna hit this one. So this half circle button is what you wanna click down here. Basically creates an adjustment layer and you can choose the different ways to brighten up or enhance your photo. So if I hit exposure, for instance, and just start dragging this up, you can see it becomes pretty big until you can't see it anymore. Um, that's too much obviously, but uh, let's go ahead and bring that up. I usually play around with the offset as well. You usually want to go down a little bit just for a bit more, I guess, flavor in the air. And lastly, gamma. Uh, gamma kind of just reduces the edges, makes it a bit more highlighted, uh, the black and white. So you can see there, I'm going to drag that. That looks good. Uh, next up, we're going to go brightness. Uh, so brightness, let's just go, you can go brightness up or down, obviously. Uh, contrast definitely gonna go up for the most part. And brightness will bring, um, bring, oh, we don't really need touch brightness. We'll leave it about that. Now what I wanna do is add a new layer over the background layer and make that a clipping mask. So this only affects to the layers below it. Um, so, you know, if I was to, uh, let's see, if I was to make the vibrance, for instance, if I was to turn the saturation all the way up, you see it only affects the bottom layer, uh, which is which is really good. And I'm gonna turn the vibrance pretty much up as well. Is that too much? That's actually pretty good. 
I never really noticed it before, but that's actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, again, these things only affect the bottom layer. So if you, you know, take it out, see how the top layer isn't moving at all. So that just gives some color to the background that you might not want to appear. But if you wanted to appear, you could also um, change the vibrance, turn saturation. See, this is saturation up for everything. And as you can see, that's very, very standing out. I don't know if that was English, that stands out a lot. So just play around the vibrance, saturation, uh, some other things you could do. Let's see, you could do color balance. If you want it to be more, you know, on the red side, do it like that. If you want it to be more on the blue side, do it like that. I kind of like it more on the blue side because of the background. Uh, the green, I don't think I'm going to touch here. So I'm going to go back to zero. And the yellow blue, uh, again, just play around with it. Uh, I think a slight blue tint is good. So yeah, it's, it's looking pretty dang good. Um, one more thing you could do just to try to stand out amongst others is add arrows. So if you go back and to your Google search, just search arrow, um, not that arrow, <laughs> search arrow PNG, uh, and go ahead and just pick one and go ahead and open that up. Now this one looks like it's going to be a fake PNG. Yep, it is a fake PNG means they thought you think that the background's taken out, but it is not. Uh, they play you like that. I hate those. So what you want to do is just do the same thing. Take the um, take the quick selection tool and just highlight the arrow and you're going to basically copy it. I don't know if I took out too much or if I just took the arrow. So I'm just going to do that. Copy it when you think you're done and paste. So this is how you can make it a lot more interesting, right? This kind of thumbnail. To reposition it, just drag it into a different layer and play around with where it should be. So uh, for instance here, maybe it could look like this uh, to draw attention to you know that. Uh, the ghost operator, maybe it could be over here. Um, and it's actually, I like it a lot better here. Uh, if you just drag it here, uh, maybe that's a bit too much. And you can resize it a little bit too. Um, there. So, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so uh, it is tough for me to finish a thumbnail, but there we go. That's, that's good enough for now. So that is kind of how you want it to stand out. And uh, this is basically the thumbnail tutorial I'm going to be using for this video. Uh, if you want to make any changes, just select exactly what you are wanting to highlight and uh, go ahead and move it as accordingly. And uh, we can actually make the thumbnail a bit, uh, the words here, a bit bigger um, just to stand out a little bit more but that's basically going to do it if we're gonna uh, if we're gonna do that we're gonna make this stuff smaller it's all about perspective in my opinion you don't want to crowd too much you don't you want to have some open space uh, you don't want to have too much open space but um yeah that's that's basically the thumbnail tutorial for how to make a call of duty thumbnail if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and um, I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you learned something. Let me know if you learned anything new in the comment section down below. And make sure to subscribe, as I said. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.